Good morning, everybody. It is the Dark Comic Nerd, and everything is wonderful today. Why is it wonderful? Well, not just because, and yes, you're going to listen to this, folks. I'm going to say it. Not only because God is in the mix today, because it's a nice day out. It's warm weather. Here in Maine, we've been waiting for days where it doesn't rain or sleet or snow or basically look like something from the apocalypse. Maybe tomorrow will be frogs or locusts. But um, it is very God-inspired today, and I am taking a half day. That's why it's so wonderful, folks. Um, I kind of feel like, well, I don't care what God wants, but that's not really the case, folks. Um, I hope God forgives me today. Um, I am taking a half day from work. I am not super frustrated, but it is permeating my thoughts that I'm very uh, not pleased with the last couple of like week and a half. And then there was a couple weeks ago where uh, the only other closer at my job uh, took a vacation and I'm kind of getting frazzled nerves. And the thing is, is that I need a half day. I need a day because every day I, I don't work folks, it rains or does something horrible. Now, as you guys know, a couple of weeks, like just last week, um, I had Easter off. Well, what did it do? It sleeted and hailed here all day. It was crap. Now, praise the Lord, I did get outside and did a little stuff, but um, I didn't get as much done as I would have liked. So, just before we get going too far, guys, this is another episode of This Nerdy Life. This will be my half-day video. And the thing is, is that um, you do see a Funko Pop in front of you. We will talk about it briefly. Um, actually, we'll talk about it right now, guys. This is a Ghostbusters Walmart exclusive Funko Pop that I happened to be there yesterday and noticed that they had put these out, so I grabbed one. We will talk about it in more detail and look at it in more detail in another Nerd Showcase. We got some other stuff we're going to look at. Um, but yeah, um, and I'm going to I'm gonna go back to here, guys, with my, my room because I just don't want you guys to look at that too long because that's not what the video is about, at least not exclusively. There's plenty of stuff to still go over. Um... So, yeah, um, it's just been, it's been uh, not a horrible week and a half. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Lord's really been with me. Um, I thank you, by the way, guys. We're up to 111 subscribers. Thank God for that. Um, thank you, all of you. Uh, shout out to uh, God Devil, who uh, commented in the last Ninja Turtle video. Um, they're doing a clan siege thing right now. I was tempted to do a thing on that, but I said, bleh. Um, and then, um, I did a fake grand order video last night. I really would like it if everybody went over to my shattered ray shift channel. I need to put that in the description so that it actually shows up in all my video descriptions, I think. So it's something that, um, constantly comes up. Oops. You know what, guys? My apologies. I, um, still get notifications on my video. I don't, oh, actually, never mind. We're not screen recording, guys. So never mind. You're not seeing the notifications. Um, but I am getting notifications about stuff. If everybody hasn't heard, this is something I was going to mention. Uh, I believe from what I'm hearing trickle down, Twitter did accept Elon Musk's offer to buy their company. So there is a chance going forward when he straightens them out, when he smacks the crap out of people and makes people stop being so stupid, if it's not a pay service, so because I don't know if that's how he's going to get his money back, if it stays free and they stop, cancel... Uh, you know, they stop canceling everybody into oblivion. They get rid of the bot programs and the fake people that are ruining people. And we won't even go into the ethics and how this might be good for the country. I'm I'm not shitting you with that. It might be a tremendous thing for the country because, folks, most of your weirdos that are making the country crap, they're on Twitter. Cause most of your crap, the stuff you're seeing with Disney, folks, right now, wonderful, best place on earth. Yeah, my ass. Um, yeah, it's, it's because of the wackos on Twitter and of course the people in their own company, but the people in their company got their Twitter weirdos or their fake bot programs to look like the Twitter followers, you know, look like their minions. And this is where we get stuff from. And this is where society is going down the crapper. And this is why stuff that collectors like member be a collector. Hey dude, um, we can't get stuff like we used to and stuff's more expensive and everything is crap. And Twitter has a lot to do with it. So, and of course, our government has a lot to do with it. If you live here in the United States, you know what I'm talking about. If you live outside the United States, I hope you live in a nice place. And man, you're lucky uh, as long as you're not currently living some 
particular places in Europe right now, <laughs> which you definitely have my sympathy if you are. Um, cause with the more subscribers we get, who knows where everybody's living. Um, uh, my buddy Kuro, uh, haven't seen him on any of my live broadcasts lately, but, uh, shout out to him. And, um, there's some other guys and there's still one in particular. Um, I just want to say his name one time, or at least half his name, because I love his avatar name. Um, um, but it's like, yeah, we've had a few new people, uh, brush. Um, I realized he is from my, um, list of PlayStation users. So I think he might've joined up as a subscriber. So if he did, uh, good to see you on that broadcast. Uh, I think it was yesterday, dude, or the day before, um, lots of people. So my thanks to all of you. So I definitely wanted to congratulate, uh, everybody that's jumped on board. Thank you very much. I uh, really would like to get a few more people over my fake Granota channel. Um, I have people like my friend Jeff from Jeff and the Bible, and he's been doing a lot more Lego videos. We're going to do stuff uh, reviewing some of his Lego stuff sometime soon. I got permission to do that. Should be great. But yeah, going back to what I was talking about, folks, um, when it comes to Twitter, if they can get it to be normal again, I will think about starting a Twitter account, and you guys can uh, join me over there too, along with this you know, it'll be the dark comic nerd if we can, you know, if we can get that. Um, we'll, we'll figure out something. Um, and we'll we'll maybe do a Twitter thing. When things go to normal, if they go to normal. Because you guys know I hate Twitter with a passion, but this is going to be must Twitter. And it might actually be, oh, I don't know, normal. Normal. Wouldn't that be great, folks, to have something that is normal again? And by normal, yes, I am using standards by which I grew up on. But, geez, hmm, I grew up during the 80s, folks, where we had great cartoons. We had, this is where um, we started to get the beginnings of uh, gaming and computers and the internet that everybody loves to misuse so much. Um, you know, it was a good time, and we weren't in war, and we weren't in a recession, and things were not horrible. So, pardon me if I use that as my example of when things were good. Now, they weren't perfect, but they were good. So, that's the way I saw things. I'm sorry if you did not see it the same way. Um, but, yeah, uh, just I would love to get on Twitter and do stuff, but I was not going to subject myself and my opinions to the crap that goes on Twitter I am much like the people on Clownfish TV where I am going to love sitting back and watching people roast on the fire because all the leftist weirdos are going to sit there and scream and stuff pillows over their faces and melt down and blow their top like Mount Vesuvius and just, you're going to see the greatest things. It's going to be better than what they used to say about the circus. It's the greatest show on the earth. Or it's the greatest show ever. No, that will be Twitter as they melt down big time. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So, um, yeah. So, we got some other stuff to show you guys. So, let's take a, let's take a stroll. I got to be careful. I don't want to show you. And, yes, my room is, a, my place is a mess. I don't, I don't care. It is a mess. So... This is one of the projects I'm going to be building, guys, coming up very shortly. I don't know when, but it is one of the projects I'm going to work on. It's a Wolverine mech Lego. Um, my friend Jeff is getting one, too, along with a Black Panther one. Um, maybe he'll make some videos doing it, too. I'm not holding my breath. Um, I have a few of these to open, folks, for everybody, so we can see if we can get that elusive Mecha Koopa, finally. Um... I also, for a new nerd showcase, guys, have this to go over. Brand new uh, retro toys coming out at my local Walmart. So I don't want to go over them too long because I want you guys to um, come back and check out a nerd showcase with us sometime and look those over. Now, I do have a lot of other nerd showcases, guys, you've seen before where I've got the stuff and I still have stuff to do. I still have some Transformers. I still have some stuff. Um, just... We do still have a lot going on. Um, I don't usually do anything having to do with my comic books, guys, but I do want to do something at one point here having to do with these comics. I want to talk about the downfall of the comic industry. Guys, if you haven't heard, comics are pretty much going... The, the, the crap is flowing down the drain lots. It's still 
it's still circling, but it's going closer to the, the bottom of the tube, the bottom of the toilet at this point. Um, because what is happening is, is that between the guy that's coming in from Discovery buying up WB, DC's head is on the chopping block. At least that's the rumor going around. Who knows? We've heard this crap before. Sometimes they'll just, you know, they'll just keep cutting back the company until it looks like a shell of itself, which I thought, to be honest, if you look at all the weirdos that are left and the crap they're coming out with, once again, <coughs> Twitter, um, that's part of the problem. And Marvel's got the issue of what's going to happen with Disney because it got signed into law. Disney just lost their Reedy Creek thing, which if you hadn't heard means that they are no longer allotted a special status in uh, Florida anymore. They do not longer get these tax breaks or all these other things. A whole things, a whole bunch of things might come to light about um, has Disney been um, using their special status to avoid um, paying fines on things that they haven't been upkeeping correctly, uh, taxes on things. I mean, that's the big thing, taxes. Um, what is going to happen to them? But they have a whole year, a little over a year, in fact, until next June, not this June, but next June, um, things could change. Disney believes they can buy their way out of it. Uh, yeah, and I believe I can pull rabbits out my ass. Sure, whatever. Yeah, Disney, you believe whatever you want. Maybe it really will happen. I'll eat my words. We'll see what happens. Um, but I believe that they poked the bear and the bear took them to town. So there you go. Um, but yeah, that will, if they start saying, geez, we need to look at what is not working anymore. I guarantee they will shuffle over to Marvel at some point, even possibly Lucasfilms and go, these places are not making the money they used to, but since they're not having the corporate shakeup, they are at DC. Um, and obviously I think we can all determine that the people at Disney and then trickling down to their sub companies are all, I think maggots would be the least of the terminology I could use, considering that we've all seen the videos of these people and what they're trying to cram into the brains of kindergartners. And if you don't like the fact that I don't believe that kindergartners should learn about the SEX of life at, a, at that early of an age, you feel free to not come to this channel anymore. You won't hurt my feelings. No way, friend. Um, I'm not just going to assume that after I, I put this out, that if people start dropping off my channel, that you guys were all into, um, uh, that kind of thing. But, uh, I'm just saying you, you, I, if I see my few subscribers hop off after saying this, because I'm not into child grooming, um, you will probably make my day even better because I do, I do not really, I, I, I welcome everybody's opinion. But there are just some things that you don't deal in. Um, you don't deal in uh, child trafficking or child, we'll call it photography if you catch my drift. Um, I want to be careful what I say here, even though I'm not a big channel yet. I still want to be careful as I am catching a little more attention with the number of subscribers going up. Um, you know that and there's just certain words you want to be careful about. Um, that's the algorithm on YouTube. Maybe somebody will buy YouTube next. I doubt that. Um, and they can get straightened out, but who knows? Um, I'm thinking when you straighten out Twitter folks, you straighten out a lot, but we'll have to see if everybody that is a scumwad on Twitter just goes to make somebody else's life miserable somewhere else. I have a hunch they'll congregate all five of them. They have their million bots accounts, all five of the Twitter, actual Twitter users. <laughs> um, the people on Twitter that are the miserable souls, not the really decent people. Um, they will probably go and ruin some other platform, which, oh, how should I put this? Yes! Go go over there and ruin something else and, um, and, and be, you know, I'm thinking they're going to be like, we will come over here like pirates and we will take over and we will make things better. And instead of things being better, all the ships get holes in them and they all sink to the bottom of the ocean. And the captain goes down with his ship. The captain goes down with his ship or their ship uh, pronouns. It's like, give me a break. I'm, I'm so sick of this crap. I, I wouldn't care if um, Musk came in and nuked Twitter. I'm sorry if any of you guys are Twitter followers at this point, but I, I don't care. I, with all due respect, I just don't care. I'm just so sick of everything. So 
there was a few things I wanted to show you guys that we'll go over. Uh, we are going to do a thing about comic books. We are going to, yep, even, uh, wow, even one of the groups that I follow, the ACLJ, um, even they're going to talk about this stuff soon. So, oh, okay, I, I was just listening to the radio, which they're on the radio, they're on, um, they're on YouTube, they're on a lot of stuff. Um, so I was listening to see, uh, there goes my thing. You, you have to get higher to commit suicide. It doesn't work that way. Um, oh, hold on a second, guys. Yep. Everybody's talking about it, so it is real. And yes, the leftists are going crazy from this. They're absolutely losing their minds. Um, I haven't gone on and seen it, but I don't have to to know about it. Everybody knows people on the left are going nuts. And I do want to watch what the ACLJ is going to say about it because they come at it from a different perspective than a lot of the pop, the pop culture, uh, YouTube sites. So I am going to cut this a little shorter. Um, but yeah, this is great guys. TMZ, I think was the one that broke it, or at least I thought, I thought that was the case, but that's the one, that's the article most people have been talking about this morning. But, um, going back to what I was saying, guys, uh, I do want to do some stuff on comic books. I do want to do some reviews. I do have some plans. Um, I, I have some big plans. Uh, our subscriber pool is getting much larger as far as its speed in which it is getting bigger. Um, I I just don't know what I'm going to do uh, 100% and when I'm going to do it, but I am going to do something. And uh, we'll do something because we, we, you know, 100 subscribers is a big deal, but I like to put some real effort into it, folks. I like to go back and um, edit some videos up. And of course, that leads me to like my half day that I'm dealing with right now, guys. Um, oh, gosh, my glasses are so bad. Um, the thing is, is that I don't I don't get any time anymore. And I, I thought it was great. My friend Jeff last night says, you need a vacation. And it's like, yeah, but my job has made it more difficult to get vacation um and to get vacation time and it's a it's a ploy because of the fact that they don't have as many workers and they are losing money because of the recession so the idea is okay we need to uh we need to um make the slaves carry heavier loads uh we need to make them work longer we need to make them work uh tirelessly until we eventually burn them out like little husks of mummies um that they find like mummies that they find all all like dissolved and nothing but their little uh, their bandages and wraps in the tombs when they find them they, they, there's nothing really inside except bones it's like that's what we need to do we need to work the worker the slaves need to work faster and harder and more and more and more and when they die just toss them over a cliff and get another one you know, just blow up a doll and put him to work, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, but that's the way they're doing it. I'm not stupid. I've been working in retail a quarter of my life. Um, you know, the thing is, is actually a little more than a quarter of my life because I've been working retail for almost, well, it's been 24 years now. And I'm 42, folks. So you can figure it out. So the thing is, is I what I meant to say was I've been working retail for almost a quarter of a century. So just to give you guys a perspective on that. So the thing is, is that, you know what? I know how it works and I know what's going on because I'm not stupid and I have the experience. And the idea is, is we're going to give you less and get more from you. Why? Because our people that are making money on this company are losing money because of the recession and because we have to pay more in gas and do this and pay more to pay you stupid schlubs, which I know is what they're thinking about us. And it's like, oh, everybody got, you know, everybody got a lot of raises last year because they were trying to make sure that they didn't lose workers to the next guy who was offering more, even though that in this state that did happen in a few places. Um, so the thing is, is that it came back now that now that thanks to Biden and his cronies, it came back and bit him in the butt. And I'm not saying what they did is wrong. I'm very appreciative, but it now is affecting everybody, folks. It's so bad that at my job. Um, recently one day people came in in the morning for the morning shift to stock shelves and they told all the part-timers, oh, you didn't get the message. Uh, we wanted all of you to stay home this morning. This is a big team. And they told all the part-timers that they either had to go home if they hadn't punched in yet, or they weren't supposed to come in at all. And they didn't tell them this until I guess like just the night before or something. It's crazy. 
it's nuts. We had to let go of two of the part-timers that we had in my department. Um, without them even being there, we had to let them go. Not that they were the most reliable sort, but I just didn't see this stuff when I was growing up, folks. I didn't see this stuff when I started the workforce. This is nuts. This is nuts. It, it, there's no respect for anybody. We don't even have respect for you when we fire you anymore. It's crazy. So it's going down the tubes. Everything is nuts. I don't know when it's going to come back to center, but who knows? But things are bad. And um, I think you guys notice that when you buy stuff. Um, Funko Pops, guys, like this, uh, used to be cheaper. Now they're like 11 something. Uh, the price on Funko Pops has gone up because the price on plastics has gone up. Because it's not as easy, apparently, to make. If you don't believe me, go look at the price of a Transformer and how much it costs for stuff for Transformers now. Hasbro has made it very difficult. Now, Mattel, who also makes plastic toys, has not gone up. But I don't know where they make them. I think where they make them is the big difference. So, I don't know exactly what's going on. But there are problems. I don't deny it. There are problems out there. And, folks, they're, they're only slightly getting better and they probably, it's probably like a band-aid that's holding the the bullet wound op uh, the bullet wound closed. But eventually, um, if you don't take care of it, the wound opens back up and it gets twice as bad. So that's why we have things called stitches. Unfortunately, we're not stitching ourselves up around this country. We're just slapping band-aids on them, hoping that eventually we won't notice that we have the bullet wound anymore. So it's pretty horrible. So yeah, it's there's some good news out of today folks i'm very happy to be taking a half day i i need it I, I call these wellness days i am still going to go into my job because praise the lord i still have appreciation for what the lord gives me for strength um he really does um that's why i made it through the past week or so um that's why i make it through my job period because the lord gives me strength wisdom compassion kindness all the things that make god god um, I have those, not all the time, but a good chunk of the time at where I work. It's my mission field. Uh, it's the way I feel about it. It's what changed my whole tune on my job. But I am I am seeing the injustice in my job, and I am seeing things get very rough for people. And it wears on me, in my soul, and my mental status, and just, it's, it's wearing on me. And it really has finally gotten to a point where I need, I need time away. Uh, I really want to see my friend who just came back from his week vacation. Um, he's been off for a while taking care of his daughter while she was on school vacation. Um, I do want to see him. I do want to do some fun stuff at work. I do like seeing uh, the new toys come out. I, I am just excited to go in and do stuff. I want to hang with my buddy. I want to help out. I want to be um, not sitting on my butt being a lazy schmutz at home doing next to nothing. Um, I plan on going outside today and getting some stuff done. That's part of the reason I'm taking this time off before my shift would usually start, not at the end of my shift and going home early, uh, but also because I want to give my friend a ride home tonight to his house. He's on my way through back home, so I like giving him a ride home when he's working the same shift as me. So that's stuff I want to do. But currently, even one of my, um, my boss that's directly above my department He's out helping in New Hampshire right now. So the thing is, is that I don't even have him around. The place is not in chaos, but things are not, they're in a bad place. And I just need time away from that bad place. It's like being in a bad relationship, folks. You just need time away from that bad relationship to figure out if you really want to be in that relationship anymore. In this case, I do want to go back to work. I do like my job and I do want to be where God puts me or else I wouldn't be working there because God would put me somewhere else. That's the way I believe. Um, but the thing is, is that, yeah, um, things have been difficult lately. And I'd like to uh, just take a break for a little bit and do some stuff I enjoy, which is why I'm talking to you guys. This is something I enjoy. So, yeah, they just did their first commercial break. So I missed out on some of the um, things that they would be talking about with the Elon Musk thing, because everybody, I'm sure, is talking about it. So they'd be showing clips from all the various. But I saw some very very horrible things that people are saying about this and just the left. I cannot believe how horrible they've gotten to the point where they outright lie, especially if you watch CNN, which if you don't believe me that people are realizing CNN sucks, just look at their CNN plus thing. Look how it did. And you'll see everybody knows they suck. MSNBC is next. You watch. Um, the thing is, folks, is that these places on the regular media are terrible, 
horrible excuses for human beings and they lie and they do stuff for ratings and i tell you do not watch them watch people on youtube they usually know a bit more and they're better and the media likes to lie about them because they're jealous that the people like clownfish tv and yellow flash and the quartering and all these people are smarter and have better um details about stories than they do and you want to know why folks because they don't put an agenda into it and that's the thing so but i'm gonna go listen to my group i hope you guys do something fun with your day i could talk more folks especially about how this country is going to left-wing lunatics just like i said if you don't believe me look at disney i'm telling you folks i don't believe that's true look at disney used to be a great company look at what it's going through go look at their stocks today i dare you proves everything i'm saying so but yeah folks i hope you have a great rest of your week it's only monday i got two days off tomorrow but it's going to be miserable and sucky so i'm really going to take some time today to um just do some stuff that i enjoy i plan on doing some more videos here today folks and i do plan on doing a broadcast hopefully um of lego star wars later on so i welcome you guys to join me anytime for that in the meantime guys you're always a great group it's a pleasure having you and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day god bless you all